Okay, so basically what happened was I promised to give my iPhone to someone who was living in Canada and I did not like care or how can I say I just neglected the fact that this new iPhone 13 and 13 Pros um, are going to be available for pre-order on September 17th and um, released on September 24th. So what happened was like I just gave my iPhone to the person and he left uh, on September 30th thinking that I can go ahead in Apple Store and order it and boy was I mistaken because I couldn't find any iPhone 13 Pro um, Sierra Blue which was my um, original thought to buy okay so I just waited literally for a couple of I would say days maybe I would say 10 days or so and I was without a phone for 10 days so all of the models unfortunately apparently as soon as they get to the store they are going to be uh, finished soon like within like I don't know the first 30 minutes and people are more uh, like people are speedier than me in terms of purchase so I wanted to get like the, um, the 13 Pro Sierra Blue uh, but I noticed that even one terabyte uh, gold blue uh, graphite or silver were gone all of them of course you can get one terabyte but for me it's not an option so what I did instead was to go to the Apple Store and get one of these because as I said I was without a phone so this is actually 13 mini and um, I thought okay so I can get this have it for uh, 14 days you can return it to Apple uh, within 14 days and then um, I can just log into my Apple ID and order um, the um, 13 Pro however the 13 Pro according to the um, Apple Store uh, website or the app um, is going to arrive to me um, on mid-November so probably I should be waiting like a good four to six weeks which is really something painful like during the last 10 days or so I was really going crazy without like having a phone nobody had a spare phone to give me there was no other option so that's why I just decided to go with this and honestly I'm trying to I'm, I'm, I'm starting to love this thing because of how small it is in comparison to my previous one which was 10s and in comparison to the uh, 13 Pro which I'm going to get um, which is like 6.1 inches so I'm starting to love this thing um, but like yeah that's that's pretty much my experience so i'm still waiting for the um, 13 pros to come and with regards to the airpod um i didn't get the airpod pro you can um go to my channel and find my um uh, review on airpod pros i really didn't like them they you know f fell out of my ear and i didn't want to just spend uh, another crazy 50 dollars to get like a uh, just a tip to just keep them inside and not to mention that i didn't like um or don't like uh, in-ear um air bods at all because they create some sort of pressure inside the uh, ear but what i want to talk about these things these are actually the airpod 2 with wireless charging okay so what i want to talk about this is i noticed that because I bought my AirPods 1 or first generation in like late 2018 and it was like early 2019 so give or take three three years three years and a half I was using them so they had lost their I would say base ability and when I just got these I thought like okay it's gonna be the same but after I put them in my ear I noticed that these are the base that these uh, pairs of you know regular airpods give me if it is not better um, than the airpod pro it's nothing less so I really don't see any reason as to why I should go with airpods pro particularly as I said um, if you watch my video you will understand why I'm gonna put the link uh, in the descriptions but like um, this is uh, in comparison to the three-year-old airpods that I used this is really awesome in terms of richness of the sound and everything so I decided to go uh, with the uh, AirPods 2 wireless with wireless charging however it's honestly like I would say kind of like a shame on Apple 
if they don't release iPhone, um, sorry, uh, AirPods 3 sooner, because I was like um, expecting them. But anyways, um, these are still like very good in my opinion. Um, I, it's it's it, it it is giving me the same quality of. Um, I remember my first AirPods when I got them in the first um, you know couple of months, and I hope it's gonna be the same. Like it's gonna last at least um, two to three years for me. And the fact that it supports um, Hey Siri and also um, it supports. Oh, I said her Siri and then it's listening right now. So um, the fact that it, it has like, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a W1 chip. I'm not sure. But like there are some improvements um, in comparison to AirPods first generation. So I decided to go with these ones until Apple releases like AirPods 3, something that's not in ear, something that is normally like this. I prefer these ones. Okay. So yeah, that's my experience. Uh, I'm still waiting for my uh, iPhone 13. Um, so what I'm going to do is to pause the video here and wait for my iPhone 13 uh, Pro uh, Sierra Blue to come. And then I will unbox it and uh, we'll talk about it. But like, as I said, I have like um, two weeks to return this thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. At least um, I have this option for not staying without a phone. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let me continue the video with a little bit of disappointment. Let me start by these little guys. So I got the AirPods 3, but I mean, it's not the one that I expected. Okay, there are so many things uh, with this that I don't like, which I'm going to explain, which makes me feel like I had better not, um, I had better not, uh, 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 return my uh, AirPods second generation because I returned them. Now, here's why. Okay, the very first thing, like AirPods Pro that you can see uh, the review on my channel, and I'm going to put the link under this video. It just falls out of my ear. Let me just uh, show it to you like this. Okay, I hope you can hear that way when I put it. Okay, so when I put it in, 
uh, for my right ear it's fine but It even like hurts my ear. I mean, it created bruises there. But anyways, my left one uh, just falls out. Okay, if I'm eating something or if I laugh while I'm talking, um, chances are it's gonna fall out. Fall out. Okay, and it's not in a way that happens once or twice. Like so many times that I feel like it's kind of like defeating the purpose. And that's not just about it. You see, this doesn't have tap. Okay. So this works by um, pushing this little button. When you want to just change the songs, you have to do this, which makes it kind of like as though you are taking the um, AirPods out. So I prefer tapping. So by now, I've talked about like two things. Let me just put this back in and I'm going to talk about the rest. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see, it's very hard for me to show, but, yeah, as I said, uh, falling out, and the orientation of the AirPods, in the second gen, the inward part, the one that goes to your ear, was kind of the, in this part, so it was easy for you to put them inside the case, but for me, the right one is okay, but the left one, because I'm taking it with my left hand, it's so hard for me to put it in. It is very hard for me to put it in. I don't know. Maybe some other people don't have this issue, but I have it. Okay. So that's the third one. As I said, it hurts my ear, not just uh, falling out, but also it hurts my ear because um, this part is bigger. Okay. This part is bigger than AirPods 2. So now let's talk about one more thing, which is uh, with regards to the voice quality. Um, the voice quality, I would say bass is good, but like other people have said in YouTube, probably I would go with the second gen's bass. I don't want to say that it's it has nothing less than that, but I don't know. I'm a fan of bass, so for me, AirPods second gen, I, I think that it had like better bass, anyways. But the one that I, the one thing that I want to talk about is when there's no music playing and you have this AirPods third gen in your ear, you you hear a buzzing noise like this or something like that okay and it's something that's hearable like that that that, that you can hear and as soon as something is pl something is playing that uh, noise is gone but like if nothing's playing you can hear that i don't know what that uh, voice is but that is the other problem at least for this one maybe other units don't have but i don't know um yeah you get like nice battery uh it's 30 hours like even more than airpods pro but Still, when it has, you know, the, the basic functionality of staying in the ear, when that doesn't work, uh, again, I'm really disappointed at these things. So what I'm going to do is to return this AirPods 3rd gen and get uh, 2nd gen. Um, I think those old school designs of 2nd gen and 1st gen work in my ear better, but that's just me, okay? Now, AirPods aside, let me talk about the big boy the bad boy here okay i eventually got my phone after like nearly a month of waiting but during the last week of use i have noticed um touch issues like other people's have mentioned okay um sometimes i touch an app and it doesn't register my touch i have to just you know touch it again so that it opens that is the th uh, first thing I've noticed. The second thing with regards to this, this is of course very big in comparison because I come from like uh, 10S um, and it just, f it, it felt more fit in my hand than this one. But again, I cannot complain about this because I uh, know that bigger size means bigger battery and honestly it has really nice battery life and it is also beautiful so no nothing about it. But let's just talk about things that uh, came uh, to my attention. After updates i wait for like uh, update before you when, when it came it was on ios 15.0.1 i updated to ios 15.1 the problem wasn't solved and just yesterday i updated it to uh, ios 15.1.1 still the issue is there and not just that but also 
you see how you, for example, touch this part uh, and then you hold it there so you can bring the app switcher. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't register and you would have to do it twice or you would have to, you know, touch and hear this part. Uh, sorry, hold this part so that, uh, you know, more than one second. It usually used to be very fast. It usually uh, with my 10s, I never had this issue. OK. And the third one that I noticed was um, which is very difficult for me to show because my camera on this laptop is 720p and it doesn't capture that. But when there is like a white background and this thing wants to dim or gets out of dim or wants to change color, it does it frame by frame. It's not smooth. OK, you see how you go to, for example, uh, again, it's very hard for me to explain and I have tested it. I cannot show it on camera. Otherwise, I would. Um, so you see how you go to music and then when you uh, change a song and the cover art changes, uh, it just smoothly in other phones, it smoothly changes color. This one doesn't. I don't know. Maybe this is just this unit or this one does it frame by frame and you can tell. OK, you can tell that it's not smooth. Even I've, I've, I've paid attention when it dims and I want to uh, get it out of dim or I look at it when it dims, it does it frame by frame. It's not smooth. So what I'm going to do is to uh, when I'm going to just return this, uh, I'm going to bring this as well to um, Apple Store and ask a genius bar this question. If it is a hardware problem, then what I'm going to do is to Although I don't really want to do so, but I'm going to exchange this with another one because apparently the touch issue is something that other people also have mentioned. OK, so, yeah, that's why I'm a little bit you know, disappointed, although I was waiting like more than a month, you know, so I learned it the hard way that I always have to have a backup phone. I was without a phone for almost a month and it was very difficult for me. So um, I expected, you know, something with this price range, I expected something that is flawless and I never had uh, this issue. I, you know, my first phone was 3GS, then 4S, then 6S Plus, then 10S and now this one. I always, you know, went with the S model, but like, again, everything is perfect. I'm not complaining about that, but probably and also, oh, something else is when I am um, scrolling a PDF in Safari, it lags. So it has a lot of lags in that way. So I thought maybe it's Safari, but I, um, you know, used uh, other apps and on some of them, um, PDFs have lagging when you scroll them. OK, it is again, it's very hard to show on the, in this camera the lags because this camera is low quality. But anyways, yeah, it has it has this issue. So what I'm going to do is to talk to Genius Bar and see uh, if this is a hardware issue. And I hope um, that I can get a replacement soon because usually uh, because of COVID, uh, I don't know, their supply chain is kind of slower than other years. So yeah, that is my experience about um, these and particularly the AirPods. Um, although it is kind of disappointing, but I thought to share it with you, maybe, uh, you know, it gives you, you know, more information and helps you um, choose. So I just want to thank you for watching. And yeah, that's it.